Hello, my name is Matt Clayton, and I'm the Youth Programs Coordinator for Thrive Matt Sue. And on today's Thrive Partner Spotlight, I have um, Ali Lithgow, who is the Associate Clinical Director for an organization uh, in town here called Set Free. And um, I should mention that they're in town, but they are also expanding around the state. Um, they just opened another um, campus in uh, Homer, and she could tell us more about other places that they're operating. But um, Ali, could you share with me the, the vision and mission of Set Free? Yeah, so Set Free is a Christian Christian treatment center. Um, we take a mind, body, spirit approach to recovery. Um, we have multi generational programs, so we have children's programs, adult programs, um, and the ultimate goal in that is to facilitate hope, healing, and resilience um, to result in lasting change. Now, our vision within that is that all all Alaskans, considering that we're in the state of Alaska, experience God's love from the freedom of addiction. That's our ultimate goal at the end of all of this. Um, and our services are reflective of that. Nice. Um, can you tell me more about your role with Set Free? Yeah, so I, like you mentioned, I'm the Associate Clinical Director. So I provide oversight to a number of our programs, particularly our peer support program um, that works in conjunction with our adult outpatient um, I also oversee our recovery residence, which is transitional housing that is also working in conjunction with our outpatient program. Um, and then all of our Department of Correction contracts. So currently we have one that is set to open in Palmer um, and then a couple others in the community that I can chat about a little bit later. Nice. <clears throat> so um, share with me some of the strategies that Set Free uses to complete its mission. So strategically, one of our main focuses is our emphasis and our core values. So right now we have six core values that set free, and those include pursuing excellence, um, being motivated by love, community-centered, um, having value for the individual, and then bringing glory to God, of course, because we are a, a Christian organization. Um, now, everything that we do at Set Free, we really try to operate within those core values. Um, particularly, I know for me, being community-centered is a big one just because what we're doing ultimately impacts our community. Um, and then all of those other ones fall in line with that. Um, and our take is that if we can stick to our core values and stay true to our vision and mission, then we're going to accomplish our ultimate end goal. So that's, that's the goal here at Set Free. <clears throat> nice. Um, can you share with me some of the new programs that you guys are offering? Yeah, so like I mentioned before, we have these Department of Corrections contracts. Um, those are our newest programs that we have opened or are planning to open soon. COVID has kind of um, backslid some of the start dates of that, but we have an RSAT program, which is Residential Substance Abuse of Treatment um, for adults in Palmer Correctional that's set to open hopefully before the end of the year. Um, that'll be a 40 bed facility within the institution. We also have under the Department of Corrections contracts, a probation office based counselor that primarily does assessments for those just getting out of incarceration or maybe have been on probation or just getting on probation. And then we also have a reentry case manager. We call them the SARC coordinator, substance abuse reentry coordinator. And that individual works with multiple institutions and the probation office to help coordinate care, get people into treatment that may have been recommended for it. They provide a little bit of assessment here and there, but really their main focus is to help people successfully reintegrate into the community. And again, that community aspect is just so, so important. Right. So that's kind of the, the newest ones that we have. We also have our recovery residence that is fairly new. We launched that this last spring. Um, we are currently nearing full capacity, which is just amazing. It just speaks to the need that we have in the community for that service. Um, and right now we, it's men and women that we um, house, uh, all adult. We have eight beds for women and eight beds for men. Um, and those individuals are all participating in our intensive outpatient program or outpatient program at Set Free. Um, so that's been really great. We also have um, our children's program is expanding. That's not a new service. We've had that program for quite a few years now, but it is expanded greatly. We have another therapist that we've brought on and we're, we've surpassed 80 clients in that program. And that's just that's amazing. So I just want to make sure that I speak to that too, because that program has really grown and we're really being able to capture that population in a healthy way. 
So lots, lots of big things going on at Set Free right now, which is really, really cool. Um, and then the other one that we have too, this is kind of the final one is our quarantine program, um, which is a temporary program that we are doing um, on the same property as our recovery residence. And this is a service that we provided um, earlier last year um, and have just relaunched um, where we are providing housing for people that need to quarantine to go into residential treatment or get back into their own housing or just coming out of jail and trying to get back into the community and need to quarantine for some reason. Um, we facilitate that and offer some peer support and some kind of minor like crisis stabilization if needed for those people. So that's what nice. we well, you guys seem quite busy and yes. um, on behalf of Thrive, we are very grateful for the work that you guys are doing in, the, in our community. Um, obviously, substance abuse is a major issue for the Matsu Valley and all of Alaska, and we're grateful um, to, to have such a great partner um, in Set Free, and, and we're so grateful for the work that you guys are doing. Um, if somebody is listening to this and they need help with uh, substance abuse for themselves or for a loved one, what are the first steps that they should take to seek help from Set Free? So that's a great question. Um, you can always call us. We're always available to assist over the phone. We do have the most efficient way is through our website, www.setfreealaska.org. All of our applications and paperwork that needs to get started in order to get a, an assessment done, that's usually the first step for a lot of people is to get that assessment to determine the level of care they may or may not need. So all of that paperwork is online. You can fill that out and then we can get you scheduled for an assessment as soon as possible. Um, and from there, we, we just kind of see where people are at and how we can best facilitate help getting them sober. Perfect. Um, anything else that you'd like to add today, Allie? No, I think that's it. Again, we also value our partnership with Thrive and just like I mentioned before, the community in general, um, I love that we all have this, the same passion to just work together and help make our community a better place. So it's it's a real pleasure to be able to be here and be a part of this and help get set free out there a little bit more. Perfect. Well, I'm going to include the links um, to your to both your website and your social media um, accounts in the in the bottom of this video. And so everybody watching this could just go and and show your support for Set Beat Free by following their social media uh, links. We would really appreciate that. And so thanks so much uh, for being with us today, Allie, and for the great work you guys are doing. Thank you, Portia. It was my pleasure. pleasure.